For the Australian Open only days away, we've got some updates with the withdrawal list, some big names that have pulled out in the last couple of days, and also some injury concerns for some of the big contenders going in as well. But let's go have a look at the withdrawal list as it stands a couple of days out from the event. Starting on the WTA side of things, we have Andrescu. She pulled out before the draw even came out, or the entry list even came out, so she won't be there. Of course, Belinda Bencic is having a baby, so she pulled out. Jennifer Brady was going to come in with a protected ranking, but she's pulled out. Laura Davis also pulled out of the event after the entry list was announced. Madison Keys also pulling out of the event due to injury. Petra Kvitova, she's pulled out as well. Same as Bencic, because she's going to have a baby this year. Carolina Mukova, the highest ranked player in the draw, she's pulled out, which is such a shame because she had such a great run at Grand Slams last year and we won't get to see her. And Rosé also pulling out of the event. Going over to the men's side and not too many players, but a lot of big names. Starting with Karatsev. Last time we did this video, he was on the injury list and he actually pulled out of the Australian Open, which is such a shame to start the year off with injury. Of course, Nick Kyrgios, he didn't even get in the entry list, so he pulled out. Rafa Nadal, the biggest name on the tour to pull out of the Australian Open due to that hip problem again. Opelka also not going to be playing this one, and Stricker has also pulled out of the event for this year. Let's go have a look at the injury list now because there are some new injuries that have come about over the last couple of days. Of course, Djokovic being the big one with the right wrist. Sidney Pass, he has a back problem, and this is a serious problem because even when he did play an exhibition this week against Djokovic, he did need a medical timeout, apparently. Svetolina, she has her foot strapped up, and she had that problem in Auckland as well, so we're going to keep an eye on her movements over the next couple of weeks or the next couple of days before the event. And Raducanu, she was supposed to play Osaka this week in an exhibition event. Both actually pulled out, citing that she had general soreness, so we don't know what that means. Maybe just precaution. So there it is. That is the withdrawal list. Only a couple of days away from the Australian Open. Remember, starts on the Sunday this time around. Really concerned about City Pass. He's probably the biggest concern going into the tournament with the injury, the back problem. His serve will be affected, and he's playing Berrettini. That is such a nightmare first round, even when you're healthy. So it's going to be really hard for him. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most disappointed that is not going to be at the Australian Open this year? And who are you most worried about going into the Australian Open physically? Because, of course, Felix Ogeliasim, he's been injured as well. He might be someone you can put on this list. Osaka, like I said, pulled out of that exhibition. That's the withdrawal list going into the 2024 Australian Open, starting in a couple of days.